answer at the bottom. So if you would like to use that and to ask any questions as we're going through the tour, please utilize that and I will moderate as we go through. Um, additionally, we'll have some questions and answers following the tour at the conclusion. So if you know we don't get to you right away, don't worry, we'll get to you in the end. Um, and then lastly, in the upper right hand corner, you can turn to speaker view. So I highly suggest doing that so that you can see um, the person who's speaking and get the best view of our gorgeous campus as we go through. So to kick us off, we're going to start off in our student union building with JC and she'll tell you a little bit about herself. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is JC DiMaria. I am a going to be a sophomore nursing student here at Wilkes University. Um, I live in South Jersey, so I'm practically at the beach every single day. It is the absolute love of my life. I love the beach, highly suggest it. Um, and a few things that I'm involved in around campus, I'm part of the NSO, which is a nursing organization of the Wilkes chapter. And I'm also a part of the, the Nursing Students Club, which is different from the organization. Um, so we have a lot of options as far as that goes, if I have any interested nursing majors out there. Um, I'm also, I have a job at the Wilkes-Bear General Hospital, which is right down the street from us, which is super awesome and so much fun. I probably wouldn't have gotten the job without being a Wilkes student itself. So definitely um, that's, a good, that's a good thing to keep in mind. All right, so please utilize that Q&A button because I totally understand that you guys probably have so many questions and, um, you're in the comfort of your own home, so don't be scared. Everything is on the table. So let's get started. We are in the student union building right now, and it has three floors. So I have a lot to cover with y'all in um, a little short amount of time. So we're going to start in the first floor. Let me turn my camera around. So we're going to start over here. Um, this is kind of like the main lobby entrance. So we're going to go right over here to where our student development um, club actually has where the trips we have per semester. So this was our 2020 spring trips that we would have had. Um, they're super, super cheap and you can, oh, you can sign up here in the lobby. Uh, it's always posted and there's always reminders and everything like that. Um, also, we have discounted movie tickets for our movies 14, which is directly down the street from us walking distance. It's so great. And it's only $3 per ticket and you can get them here as well, which is super awesome. So we're going to turn right around to our Rifkin Cafe. And you can't really see them, but they're, they're chained up. But we have Grill Works right here. And then Witch Witch, which is kind of like a subway. So you can create your own sandwich over here. And then over here is more of like um, burgers and fries and chicken tenders and stuff like that. And that is included in the meal plan that we have. So um, this is just one of the eating options that we have over here. And then if we walk a little bit this way, this is kind of like uh, a gaming center, if you like say, a little bit of a lounge. So we have a few pool tables and usually there's um, people hooking up their video games to the TV. We have some vending machines back here. So it's a super nice lounge to have back there. So um, let me get y'all another look. And we also have a lounge on the other side of the Rifkin Cafe. And that's where um, we have bingo and we have like for Halloween time, I know we had pie eating contests and um, so much fun in here. So a lot of fun happens in the student union building. So if I ever refer to it as the sub, that's what we call it on campus. Um, so if I ever refer to it as that, it just means student union building. So this is our other lounge that we have back here. And we also have computers in the back here if you want to do any homework or anything like that. So I'm going to talk about the other two floors. So on our second floor, uh, we have offices of clubs like Wilkes Adventure Education, and all of their offices are up there if you had any interest of um, joining them if you didn't make it on uh, the Join the Club Day. So on the other side, y'all can't see it, but I'll be very, very detailed with it. So um, we have a mail room. So if you live on campus, you get your own mailbox. And I used it probably every single day. They know my name there by now because Amazon Prime, let me tell you, is so reliable and it is the best. And also, let me add, I love making corny jokes. I practice them in the mirror. So if y'all want to laugh behind your computer screen, I don't blame you. They're funny, all right? So I'm trying to put that out there. So we also have a hall right next to the um, mail room. And in there, we have like guest speakers. 
we have um, anything like that, like any clubs that want to have buffets up there. There's activities up there. There's always something going on, whether it's first floor or second floor. And there's also on second floor, the commuters lounge. So if you are a commuter, you have a lounge specifically for y'all upstairs. If like you have a couple hours in between classes and you don't want to drive all the way home. So there's also an option for y'all up there. Third floor is where our main um, food source is, I guess you can say on campus and it's buffet style. So there's always something that anyone will like, trust me, I'm the pickiest eater in the world. I practically ate only chicken fingers and french fries my entire life. So they always have something that everyone will like upstairs. There's um, sort of like a deli where you can make your own sandwiches. There's always burgers, fries, grilled chicken. Then they have a cultural bar where there's either like, um, they have Asian food or anything like that. And there's always the chef that has his own table and does something special uh, every Thursday or Wednesday. And everyone is so nice upstairs. So it's a part of the meal plan. So as freshmen, you guys get unlimited swipes for the third floor. So you can go there once a day or you can go there 17 times a day. My one friend went there 22 times in one day once and it's fine because that's what we're paying for. And if you want to go 22 times a day, you go 22 times a day. So that's upstairs for our food plan and anything like that. Do y'all have any questions about um, the sub or anything like that? I'll give y'all a minute or anything. We do have one question. If you commute, do you still have a meal plan? I honestly don't know that because I'm personally not a commuter, but I we want do. to say that. You do? Yes. Okay. Yes. You I have- like That's definitely um, their decision. You have a set number of meal swipes. Um, I'm not sure of the exact number, but there is a set number of meal swipes, and there is also an amount of flex and dying dollars because some of my friends who, who moved off campus, like their junior and senior years, um, they have that meal plan. Perfect. So I hope that that answered your question there. Perfect. Any other ones? No. Nope, we're good. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna. Hand it on over to my girl Emily in UConn, and I will see you guys in a bit. All right, so as she said, my name is Emily. Um, I'm going to be a senior hospitality leadership major, so that's here in the business school. I have two minors. Um, my first one is in leadership, and the second one is sustainability management. Um, I do a lot on campus, so I'm the president of the hospitality leadership club. Um, and then I have multiple jobs on campus as well. So this is my fourth year working with the admissions office, giving tours. Um, I'm interning with Jess in the admissions office um, to help plan events and stuff in the fall. And then I'm also working in the business school as a research assistant. So this is my second year um, and I've gone to a few conferences, which is opportunities all given me by Wilkes. So I've gone to conferences in both New York City and then I presented at a conference in Las Vegas in January. So tons of opportunities. If anyone is in business and you have questions about that, feel free to ask. So right now, I am in UCOM, which is our business school. It stands for University Center on Maine. This first part is Starbucks. Um, I mentioned Flex and Dying Dollars, which is on our Wilkes card and a part of meal plan. This is one of the places that you can use it. And then if you turn over here, this is the entrance to our business school. Um, so one of our first rooms that we have on this floor is our financial market trading room. So we have the same basic software that they do on Wall Street so you can learn how to read and trade stocks. Um, I've had a few of my classes in there. And then one of your freshman business courses is called IME. It's Intro to Management Experience. Um, probably one of my favorite classes I've had here in the business school. So the professor will put you into a group with um, other business students that are in different majors so you have a variety of personalities and interests and everything and you come up with either a product or a business and then it's your job to sell it so in the first semester of the class you develop a business plan you learn how to do all of that stuff Wilkes actually gives you a set amount of money and then say that you make a Wilkes bandana so with that amount of money, you would buy the bandanas and you'd have the opportunity to sell it on campus, online, to all your friends that you've made here at Wilkes. So those are the few of the opportunities that we have here in class. Again, if you have any more questions about classes, feel free to let me know. Um, in this building also is where we have Air Force and ROTC, um, which is an awesome experience that we have here. And then I'm going to move over to the Mac Gym, which is one of our student gyms. 
So this is the McCall Athletic Center. Again, the Mac Gym. So it is one full-size track as well as three full-size basketball courts. Um, so we have a lot of events in here as well. So for example, we would have concerts in here. Um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar came to speak here a few years ago. So tons of activities that we have here. We have a ropes course right behind me over there. And then right here, we have a rock climbing wall. So one of our clubs is the Wilkes Adventure Education. Um, and they come in here a lot to do the rock climbing wall and different events. So highly recommend that. Um, now I'm gonna send you over to the library with Cassidy. Hi everyone, so my name is Cassidy. I am a double major in communications and psychology. Um, I also do a lot here on campus. Um, this is going to be my third year working in the admissions office as an ambassador. It's been so much fun. I'm going into my junior year this year. Um, I also am a student athlete, so I am on the women's golf team, which is so, so, so much fun. One of my favorite things that I get to do here on campus. Um, but I'm going to show you guys a little bit about the library. So let me flip this for you. So here is the entrance to our library. Here's just a little view of it quickly. There's multiple different floors. So down those steps is going to be um, the basement area that has a lot of different um, study areas and stuff for students to hang out in and get their work done. So we have some informal style study rooms. So they're kind of like um, a, a couch type of seating with a coffee table and a computer so you can hang out with your friends. There are whiteboards and stuff that are on wheels so you can, you know, take notes or practice problems or whatever you need to do. And then we also do have some um, collaboration study rooms. So they're closed off with a door um, and like a meeting style table. You can rent those out at a specific time during the day. You can kind of reserve them. Or if they're open and there's nobody that has it reserved, you can go ahead in there. Um, which is really, really great. So there's two different uh, ways to do some group studying in that basement. And then we also do have another resource downstairs, which is called the Writing Center. So obviously in college, you're gonna have to write papers, do research and all that kind of stuff. So if you ever get stuck with your writing, with your citations or anything, you can go to the Writing Center and have them help you work through that. It's a really, really awesome resource that we have here in the library. And then here on this first floor, is pretty much just a bunch of um, more study areas and computers. Um, everybody does get their own Wilkes login to go onto the computers. Each student will get 550 pages of printing each semester. That's a really significant amount. I print out all of my notes, all, like everything that I use for class, I print it. Um, and I've never come close to running out and neither have any of my friends. So you should be okay with that. Um, and like I said, there's just a lot of tables and stuff for you to sit with your friends and do some studying and whatnot. Here on the first floor, we also do have right over there is our IT help desk. So if you ever have any issues with um, your work, Wilkes portal or your email or your computer or whatever, um, you can either go to the window or you can call their IT helpline, their help desk phone number. Um, and then on the top two floors, we have all of our books. So here are the steps to get upstairs. So we do still have books in the library, although a lot of things are online now. Um, so one of the cool things that we do here is when you take an English course, um, we'll kind of teach you a little bit how our library system works, how to rent out books, how to use the interlibrary loan system, and all of those different things. So um, everything kind of gets explained to you and there are two floors of books. And then there is one more thing that I want to mention. Um, the basement and the first floor are kind of like our talking floors. So that's why there's a lot of um, collaboration spaces for like group work. That way you guys can talk amongst yourself and you don't have to worry about being too loud. But if you're somebody who likes to have a more si silent um, atmosphere when you're doing your work, you can go upstairs on the other floors and they have individual areas where you're supposed to be more quiet on those floors. So we have a um, section for everybody here. Um, if anybody has any questions about anything in here in the library, please let me know. Um, but if not, I'm going to send it over to Leslie in our Karen Bellas Media Center. So we do have a question regarding okay. how big the school is in terms of how many students come to school. Do you okay. want to answer it? 
you can answer that. Perfect. So we have um, about 5,000 students. That includes both undergraduate and graduate. 2,500 of those are graduate students. Most are undergraduate students. Most of our graduate students um, are in online programs. Our classes are relatively small, so it's about a 12 to 1 student to faculty ratio. So I hope that answers your question. Please feel free to follow up if there is more that you would like to know. Alrighty, so I'm going to send it over to Leslie in our Karen Bell at the Media Center. Hi everyone, my name is Leslie. I am a junior here at Wilkes University majoring in middle level education. I am also the secretary of the education club here at Wilkes University and I am, and I am a commuter so I live like seven minutes away from campus. So if you have any other commuter related questions, feel free to send them my way. Also, um, I, do, I am working here at admissions and I do work with other international students on campus, kind of um, serving as a tutor and also organizing different events for them, which is very close to my heart. But right now, today, we are in Carambellas, our media and communication center on campus. So it's home to all of our communications majors. And then as soon as you walk in to your right would be a lot of different offices from professors. <laughs> and then we also have what I like to call the bubble, but it's actually our newsroom. And then through those doors, we have our own radio station. And then we also have our own TV studio, which I'll show you quickly. And then once again, this is the bubble. So it's kind of a conference room, newsroom space where a lot of our students like to collaborate. Also across from the bubble, we have the beacon. So which is our home to our school newspaper. And then further down, we will come across Zebra Communications, which is our school's um, public relations office, which is run by our students. So in this building, there are many different things that you could get involved with and also get some real world experience if you're in the communications major. And then right here to our left, it's kind of dark today, but inside of there, we have our own television studio, which is run by our students as well. And then right over here, we have a speech and debate room. So I'm just gonna open this door. Okay, <laughs> and then further down, you'll see that we have our Sordoni Art Gallery also in this building. So it was, this building is actually one of our newest buildings and they expanded our Sordoni Art Gallery, made it all nicer and brighter and bigger for our students. And they changed the exhibit about every three months or so. And as you can see right now, there's not an exhibit, but I'm sure come fall, there will be something new there as well. And in this building, we have two other classrooms. So the only two classrooms in this building, the rest are kind of just offices and spaces for our students to collaborate. And then this one right here is a computer room. So in all of our academic buildings, we do offer computers and printers for our students. So if you're ever like a commuter like myself and you forget to print something, you never have to worry because there's always a printer available for you. But this is essentially Karen Bellas. Do you guys have any questions for me? And if not, I am going to send it over to JC and Brysa. Hello, my future colonels. It's JC again. I'm here in Brysa. And this is one of our academic buildings that I'm going to um, show you all through. And I like to call Brysa kind of the house of everything because um, you will find any major in here at all. So um, I'm going to go through it. Let me flip my camera for y'all. So when you walk in, um, we're going to walk on over here. So up these stairs, we have our psychology research waiting room on the third floor. Um, so when I even took psychology for um, my nursing track, they made us like, it was super cool. We, we were like the clients, I guess you can say, and the psychology research. It was so much fun. It was so cool to see the results. And um, it's cool that even if anyone that's interested in psychology and wants to do psychology research even does it, you guys have full reign. And um, if you have an idea, you just kind of go for it as far as that goes. So I'm going to walk over here to one of the classrooms. The door is locked. I'm going to try to screw to actually the other one might be better. So our, like Jess said before, our student to um, professor rate is about 12 to one. Let me see if I can, yeah, you guys can kind of see that in there, how it's kind of larger. So I'm going to stay here for a second, see if y'all can kind of focus on that a little bit. Um, our class sizes usually range to about 18 to 24, but it definitely depends on what kind of program you're in, what your major is, um, and what classes specifically you're taking. 
So um, in this classroom specifically, I had my chemistry class. The seats are so comfortable. Um, I could sit in there for hours. I loved them. And the technology in here is great. It never failed us. It was super, super fun. So I'm gonna turn around and walk a little bit. So if you look down this, this hallway, uh, there's classrooms, teachers' offices, and everything like that. So we're gonna go this way. Um, there's art on the walls from students. I'll let y'all see those for a little bit. So um, as far as like floors go downstairs, we have a bunch of computer labs. I mainly had my English lab downstairs and that's where I had my first English class. And every student, despite your major, has to take two English courses. So I'm taking my second one this semester. I'm very, very excited. So um, this is Bryzeth, so I'm sure you guys will eventually have one of your classes in here. Does anyone have any questions for me? And if you do, just put them in the Q&A. We do have a couple of questions that we'll address at the end, so go ahead, Emily. Okay, so hello again, everyone. Again, my name's Emily. So I'm starting the section of the tour. We are in freshman dorms. So I know this is a very popular section. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to put it in the chat and I'll be happy to answer it. Um, we have three different styles freshman year. We have mansion style, traditional style, which I'm in right now. And I'll do my best to explain mansion style as this style is the most similar. Um, so currently I am in Roth Hall, so you can kind of see how cool it is. Um, it was originally two different mansions, so that's why it's the most similar um, to the mansion style. In here we have about 75 students, um, depending on the size of the freshman class. So in here there's about 25 students per floor. Um, first and third floors are female, second floor is guys, and then there's one RA per floor, which corresponds to the gender of the floor. So in here, it is communal style bathrooms. So I'll bring you guys over here to show you some of those. So this is what the bathrooms are like. And even in the mansion style halls, they are communal as well. So again, um, there's three bathrooms on this floor and this is what they're all like. So they are totally private to you. It's not like you walk in and it's a row of six showers or anything. So um, Pearsall Hall, which is right next door is a mansion style. Um, is about 30 students in there. The first and the third floor is guys, second floor is female, and then there's two RAs, one male, one female. Again, communal bathrooms, um, except for those, it is about two bathrooms per floor that are just like these. Um, so in here, there are somebody who comes in every day to clean the bathrooms in the common areas. The only thing that they do not touch is your bedroom. Um, so in here, I'll show you guys a room as well. And this is one of the communal, the communal areas, maybe. Um, so this is what they're like in these halls. And you can see like there's a little kitchen area over there if you do feel the need to make anything or you need to store anything in a fridge. Um, so in this hall, there is one on each floor. This is the largest, this is where the hall mains would happen. And then in a mansion style, there's typically only one, but there is typically like a fridge and sink area on each floor. So I'll bring you guys over here and see a room. So this is what a student room would look like. Um, everything that is in here currently um, is what is provided to you besides the bedding, of course. Um, so you get a wardrobe, a desk and a chair, the bed, and then so this is what a triple is like. Um, in this hall, it is mostly doubles and triples. Um, so if you guys do have any questions, is this is the same kind of room size that we would have in mansion styles. So feel free to ask any questions if you have them. Um, this was my hall freshman year, so I was a huge fan. And then I'm gonna bring you guys out here to show you the laundry area. So this is a laundry area for this hall. There's three washers, three dryers, and they are all brand new as of last summer. Um, so laundry is free to you as a student. The only thing that you're responsible for is whatever um, detergent or fabric softener that you wanna use. Um, and it's the same in each hall that we have washers and dryers. In Pearsall Hall or Mansion, for example, we have two washers, two dryers. So very similar situation. 
Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, Jess, do you want me to answer the one question that I see about students sharing a bathroom? Yes. So the question is, how many students have to share a bathroom? Um, so in here, again, there's about 25 students per floor and three bathrooms per floor. Um, so that's about 25 per three bathrooms. Um, so when I was in here freshman year, there was literally one time where I really had to use the restroom and they were all full. So what I did is I went up the stairs right here um, to a different floor to use one of their bathrooms. Um, so if it is an emergency, you can go up to a different floor. Um, but if it's a shower, I can easily wait um, to like use the restroom. So it's about 25 people per three bathrooms. Um, in Pearsall Hall, our mansion, it's about 10 people per two bathrooms. So that's the ratio for that. If you're on a sports team, do you usually room with your teammates? Um, I can try and answer that if you want. Cassidy, do you have an answer to that? Oh. So because I don't live on campus, my situation is slightly different. Um, and, and also I'm on a team that's a lot smaller than most um, athletic teams uh, on campus. So it's a, it's a little different for us. Um, I know that there are certain houses that like baseball will be in sometimes or like the football house. So I know that there are designated spots that sometimes um, they'll be there. But as far as like my personal experience, I don't, door, I don't live on campus. So it's a little bit different. When I, I know the answer to that question, actually. Oh, go ahead. Yes. Um, so basically how that works is you start as a recruit and then you uh, usually have a stay over, but that probably didn't happen because of the spring, everything that happened with COVID and everything like that. Um, but you do get to know your teammates and you do actually get to request a roommate and it can be your teammate as a fresh, as a freshman, you can request one. Um, it doesn't always work out like that, but most of the time it definitely does. So if you found a teammate that you would like to, then you can request the name. But as far as choose with like one of your roommates that does not happen um after sophomore year you can live off campus and that's when there's team houses like the football house usually uh gets a house together lacrosse or anything baseball like that. So, tennis yeah right so it goes on from there but as far as freshmen you have to specifically know the name of who you want to room with um i can kind of answer the other questions about housing so with choosing your room what you would typically do is you would say which style you prefer so for example, this is traditional style. So the main difference between this one and mansions is that mansions do not have AC. So again, the three styles that you can choose from your freshman year are mansion style, traditional, or suite style, which you'll see next. Um, so you can choose between those. For example, my freshman year, I was rooming with someone, I really wanted mansion, but she was like, no, we need to have AC. So what we did is we selected traditional, then we hit um, AC as a preference, and then we selected double slash triple room because I wanted to live with her. Um, so that's how the process goes with that. Um, do students live with other students that are in their majors? Um, so again, that's kind of a preference thing. So she was my major freshman year. Um, we met at orientation. We were in the same e-mentor group. So that's how I met her in the same major. Um, if you go random, they typically try and put you with your major. Um, so another girl was stuck in with us freshman year because we selected double slash triple and she was our same major. Um, the girls across the hall from me were the same major. So they try and put you with your majors, um, but definitely they try and base you based on personality and majors and everything like that. Can you answer how many different res halls there are on campus? Just we'll go over that. I mean, I, there's a lot between the diff many different mansions and suites. Um, if you could so mansions would be a hard one to answer. Um, I, there's probably like four or five freshman year, plus there's the honors housing for mansions freshman year. This is the traditional style one for freshman year. Um, there's a suite style, which you'll see. There's several apartments for upperclassmen. So I believe there's five different apartments, um, five or six for upperclassmen, all of varying sizes of how many floors there are and how many different students 
But um, Kai just mentioned that she believes that there's 19 total. So. Perfect. And so let's move on to Evie. And we can show that residence hall so that everyone can see um, a different type other than uh, Roth. All right, guys. So hi, it's Cassidy again. I am back. So I'm here in Evans, one of our other residence halls for first year students. This is just an example of just the common area. So this is kind of like the main entrance here from the street side. Um, there's a little uh, hangout area here at the pool table. We've got some vending machines and then I'm going to go down the hall um, to show you a room. So here we go. So when you first walk through the hallway, there is another uh, common area here. So that's where your kitchen and your fridge and whatnot will be. Um, and then right here, we just have a standard room. Um, so this is obviously a bit more of like the dorm style that you'd probably like picture in your head. So you get all of the wooden furniture. It's pretty standard across campus of what everybody gets. Um, you have some storage up there. Um, and then, you know, the rest of your furniture here. And then you do have a sink. Hi, guys. <laughs> there I am. And then um, these have like Jack and Jill bathrooms, as we call them. So inside of your room is your bathroom. And then it's connected on the other side by another door to the other set of, um, of people that live on the other side. So it's going to be two people on one side, the bathroom in the middle, and then two people on the other side. Um, and basically, when you live in one of these rooms, um, you are responsible for cleaning your bathroom because they don't want the um, facilities workers to be coming into your room to take care of the bathroom. So you will have to share the bathroom with four people and just make sure that you're the one that keeps it clean and whatnot, um, you know, split that work amongst you and your roommates. Um, so that's just kind of like something to keep in mind if you're unsure of what style you want. That's the rule as far as how you like take care of your bathroom and whatnot. Um, but yeah, this is Evans. Does anybody have any specific questions about it in here or want to see anything else? Um, if not, I'm going to send it over to JC, who is in our Cohen Science Center, um, and she will chat with you guys again. All right. Hi, y'all. It's JC again. Um, so I'm on the first floor of Cohen Science Center. So Cohen Science Center is basically if um, you have any science classes, this is where you will have the labs for them. So you have a lecture time slot for the science class, and then you also have a lab time slot. So for example, for my anatomy and physiology course, I had it um, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday from um, six to seven, and then my lab was on Wednesday morning for three hours. So I'm gonna show you an example of a lab. So this is one of the labs that we have, and this is for rock and soils lab. So they're very nice inside. They have um, the lab tables and the movable chairs, um, and they have all the equipment in the back. So I'm going to uh, walk down a little bit and show you guys some more because each lab definitely varies on what um, it's geared towards. And usually each level is a different uh, subject. So my chemistry was on, on fourth, so it all depends. So this is a geology lab. And as you can see, all the rocks are up there. And here's like a, just a different setup as you can see. So this looks more of like a collaborative lab for geology. So we're gonna walk a little more down here. Um, and here, we usually have this filled to the brim, but um, here is some research that students have done and it was published. So let me show you guys a little bit of that, which is super, super cool. And we have those on every single floor of, of Cohen. So this is where y'all just were um, with Roth and Evans, which is right out that door. And here is just a little space that a lot of people come to do some studying before they have to take an exam. Or um, here's our big screen. And as you can tell up here, we are uh, LEED certified, which is awesome. 
So this is another place for people to study or get some extra cram time in right before, or just to sit and read. Um, it's usually pretty quiet in here. So, um, and down there is just more labs, office space, and then a collaborative room at the end, which you will see uh, right after. And that's the Dean's suite right over here. And then um, the connective to the next building next. So um, if y'all have any questions, just drop them below and I'm gonna send it off to uh, Emily, who was on the third floor of Cohen. So if y'all have any questions, just drop them below and I'm going to send it off to Emily. Um, hello again, everyone. I'm on the third floor of Cohen. Um, but before I start, I want to touch on the question about transfer housing. Um, so freshman halls are all like dry dorms, which um, is because we're all underage and everything. So it is very strictly enforced that there, it's dry. So typically when you transfer, a lot of students are upperclassmen, you're gonna be 21 or older. So you would typically be in the upperclassmen housing. So you can choose between like the apartment styles or if you do like the mansions, we do have mansions for upperclassmen as well, but those are still communal bathrooms. So for example, um, when I was a sophomore, um, we, it was the first year for the hockey team. So a lot of them had played like junior league hockey and then they came to Wilkes to go to college. Well, most of them were like 21, 22, their freshman year because they had played hockey first. So they were in upperclassmen housing with us because of their age and everything. So transfer housing is typically gonna be upperclassmen housing. Now, whether you like apartment style or mansion style, that's up to you. Um, but if you have more questions regarding that, feel free to drop it in the chat. Um, but I'm on the third floor of Cohen because I want to show you one of our little study areas. So in here, we have a little study room. So it's um, this side looks out onto the greenway. So it's a gorgeous view. Um, so there's one on each floor and on the opposite side of the hallway, it looks out onto the Susquehanna River. So these areas have seating. Some of them have like little kitchenettes and Keurigs and everything. Um, but this is an awesome place to come and study with a gorgeous view if you want to do that. Um, so next, I'm going to send it downstairs to Star Clearing Center down to Leslie. Is home pharmacy, nursing, engineering, and mathematics majors. But I do want to show you in here, as soon as you walk in, you will see the pod, which is another eating option on campus because we have Greens to Go inside of there. So Greens to Go is, as I mentioned, another option on campus. It's including with your dining, dining plan. And then you, they sell everything from salads to soups to wraps. And then the pod is kind of like a mini market. So if you need that sugar rush in the middle of the day, that's sort of the place to go. And then further, we have yes. all the way over there, it's one of our largest lecture halls on campus, which is called Stark 101. So if you are a pharmacy, biology, neuroscience major, that is definitely a room to remember if you're an incoming freshman, because you will be in there for one of your classes, one of your science classes. And then further down, down to our right, we have our pharmacy wing. So all the way at the end, we have the switch seat. So if you ever need to, um, so if you ever need to uh, do your meeting for your pharmacy program. That is where you would go. And then we also have the library for our pharmacy students, as well as the care pharmacy students as well. And then Hi. I'm going to pop in really quick just so I can show you because we were Cassidy, you're muted. Cassidy, you're muted. Um, no, that's okay. okay. So I'm just going to do a quick um, pan of like this area here. For all of our engineering students, a bunch of new equipment. Collaborations room, which I'm going to show you. Yes, okay. 
Sorry, we had a little bit of a technical error. So we're going to head down the hall at the Shark Learning. So in this hallway, once we walk out of that area, there's a whole bunch of collaboration spaces. So these are really, really similar to um, the ones that are in the basement of the library that I talked about before. So basically, there's like a meeting area with like a, a meeting table um, and some chairs and a um, TV. So you can actually put your laptop or hook your computer up to that and like maybe practice some presentations or anything like that. Um, so like I said, these are really similar to the ones that we have in the basement of the library. So there's a lot of places to hang out and study here. Um, although this is in the engineering department of this building, it's not just for engineering students. So if it's open, you're able to use it. And then this whole hallway lines up with other places to sit and study. And then once you come to the end of this hallway, there's another really big area of um, space to sit and do some work. This is one of my favorite places to do my work. Um, here we have a engineering lab, which has our 3D printers in it, which is really, really cool. Um, we have this display here, so you can kind of see all of the things that they have made. Um, I think that this is super fascinating, so. <laughs> um, and then again, just some more collaboration spaces, um, sitting areas and labs, and that is that. Um, so, let's see here. Uh, next we have Emily out in the Greenway. Um, so we're gonna send it over to her. If anybody has any questions, just let us know. All right, hello again, everyone. Um, so my job is to kind of show you the outside view of all the academic buildings, and everything, to give you a kind of connecting thing so you can see how close they all are together and how gorgeous our campus is from the outside. So I'm in the center of the greenway and I'll be pointing out to you all the buildings. So straight ahead right here is the Student Union Building. That's where you started with JC. Right here, this is a library where you talked with Cassidy. Down this greenway walkway right here is UCOM on the right, as well as Karen Bellas. And then right here is Bryson Hall, which is where you were with JC again. Um, here is Cohen Science Center with myself and JC. And then right here is one of the entrances to Stark Learning Center, where you were with Cassidy and Leslie. So then I'm going to send it over to JC, who's on the other side of the Greenway, to show you some of our dorms. Hello, all. I don't know about y'all, but I think this campus is absolutely gorgeous, and they obviously take gardening very seriously because everything is absolutely perfect. So I'm going to show you the other side of campus, which is directly next to where Emily just was. So let me turn it around for y'all. Here's the back of Cohen Science Center that me and Emily were in that were showing you where all the labs were. Um, here, the yellow building right there is one of the mansion style called Sturdivant. And then right here, this big brick building, that is Roth Hall, where you were with Emily with. So I was right here. And this is Evans. And right in front of Evans is a little gazebo thing. I, I think that's what it's called, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I do my homework under here every single day, even if it's snowing. I sit there and actually a uh, bird pooped on my homework once and my chemistry teacher wasn't happy, but it was so worth it. And I still always went back. So it's my absolute favorite place to go. Um, some things I want to touch on back here that you would have gotten if we were um, walking outside some extra information. Right here, this building behind the trees is Cunningham Hall, which is also University College. This is basically if you need any help with tutoring or we have um, SI sessions, which are run by kids who took the class that you are currently in and are teaching it back to you in easier ways that help them study and help them succeed. Uh, everything that is in there and provided for you as far as help for academics is absolutely free. So never, never be afraid to go in there and ask for help. Also right next to Roth is the YMCA and our outdoor volleyball court as well as outdoor basketball court. Um, so I'll walk and talk at the same time so you guys get a gist of it. So the YMCA on top of the gym is actually more apartment style housing for upperclassmen and that's um, an opportunity for upperclassmen to have the apartment style up there. Below it is a gym that is free membership for Wilkes University students. Um, there's cardio machines, lifting weights, there's a pool, there's kickboxing, um, 
there's so much stuff in there. It's great. And it's right next to the dorms too. So it's so convenient. So no excuses and no days off. You'd be there every single day. Here's our outdoor volleyball court. And here is also um, our outdoor basketball court right next to it. So let me turn it back around for y'all. Um, so that is the end as far as um, showing y'all campus goes. So please drop any questions so we can answer them for everyone. Um, and then I'm going to touch on the one question that we had about parking. So you can have a car your first year on campus. Um, my freshman year, I parked across the river at the football field. So there is a shuttle that can take you there. Um, it runs six days a week. So Monday through Friday, it's 7A to 7P. And then Sundays, it runs 6 to 10, I believe is the time. It's been a few years since I've done it. Um, and then where I'm standing, I'm going to show you one of the areas for upperclassmen parking. So straight down the Greenway, right across the street from UCOM and Carambella's, right next to University Towers, which is one of our upperclassmen um, dorms, is the parking garage. So that's one of the upperclassmen areas to park. Um, this will be my third year parking there. Um, so you just apply for parking every semester and then you're told um, your assignment. So freshmen are typically going to be across the river, but yes, you can have your car on campus all four years. Um, after your freshman year, it might vary as to where you are on campus here. So it could be the parking garage if you commute. It might be the student union building's parking lot, just right behind me, kind of. Um, so if you do have any more questions about anything logistic-wise, feel free to drop it. And I hope you guys enjoyed all of the sites here that we got to show you today. Can you guys address what you like to do when you're off of campus? So personally, um, I'm all about like adventuring around wherever I am. So right next to us like i was talking about in the student union building there is a movie theater and uh three dollar tickets i saw my favorite movie frozen 2 there so it was amazing the movie theaters are fantastic high quality food is great let me tell you um there's so many different restaurants down there that even some that just opened up so um there's every single type of cuisine that you could imagine there's ak there's italian um there's literally anything in the world down the street there's a all the way down, like there's a Starbucks and then all the way down is the Duncan and then a Rite Aid's down there, Walgreens down there. There's also the Wyoming Valley Mall that's only 10 minutes away from campus, a 10 minute drive. Um, and they also do shuttle runs from Wilkes on Sundays, not every Sunday, but like I think it's once or twice a month that they let students go on the shuttle and they bring them to the mall. They bring them Target, Walmart, which is all around, uh, all around campus. And even in town in Wilkes, there's Applebee's, there's Olive Garden, um, there's Smoky Bones, there's so many places to eat. It's like unbelievable. I didn't even get to everything yet. So um, as far as that goes, and at Poconos are right nearby. So me and my roommate, um, my roommate's definitely into skiing. So she went there every single weekend. So those are just some things that you could do, especially in seasonal times. Yes, definitely. So again, with what JC said, tons of restaurants around here. Um, I think one of my, like my friends and I, we love to go out to eat um, as a way to like kind of de-stress and to like celebrate that we've made it through another week. Um, so definitely all the restaurants and everything. We also have several natural things around us. So one of the things that's probably about 10, 15 minutes away is Seven Tubs. Um, feel free to Google that. It's one of the most gorgeous areas around here. Um, has some awesome waterfalls and everything. Ricketts Glen is pretty close to us. It's only about 40, 45 minutes away, which has some more waterfalls and hiking trails. Um, when we come to school here, we typically get a packet that has like several places that we can go around here. So whether you like skiing, whether you want to go shopping or learn about where all the natural things are, that's another awesome thing that we have um, when we come to Wilkes. Emily, can you talk a little bit about some Wilkes traditions? Maybe show the statue of John Wilkes with his mask on? Yeah, I'll kind of run over there. Um, so also, I'm right next to the clock tower. Um, every day at noon, we've been playing the alma mater. So um, it's kind of exciting when we start classes because we're going to hear it every day. But I'm walking right now to the statue of John Wilkes. 
Um, so right now he has his mask on because, you know, safety first. But um, John Wilkes is here, so if you're ever on campus, feel free to come and take a selfie with him. Um, and then when we're around like graduation time, he wears his cap and gown. Um, we'll put balloons around him when we have open houses on campus. So tons of fun things like that. Um, Jess, what else would you like me to talk about? There's a tradition that when you first start on campus as a freshman, you walk, you proceed down the gateway and you get to walk into convocation, which is held in our March gym. And it's a tradition to rub his boot. Um, and then as, when, again, when you're graduating and you're processing back to your, you know, where people are graduating in our athletic center, you can also rub his boot. So that's kind of a cool tradition that we have as well. Would you like me to talk about move-in as well? Because that was a question. Yeah. Um, so my experience freshman year was crazy. Like I was super nervous. Um, like you're coming in freshman year, you're, you're so like worried about everything. You're stressed. You don't know how college is going to be. So literally the public safety officers were like directing us to parking and everything. I pulled up and there's tons of people outside. So it's typically like the football team and RAs that are, are lining the streets to help you. And they're like, oh, what room are you in? So I was like, oh, Roth 117. They're like, okay, great. So literally my car was empty within seconds. I literally carried one thing in to my dorm and everyone had carried it in for me. So move in was awesome. Um, you are given like a specific time in which you're supposed to move in. So again, like I was in Roth when my freshman year, which is three floors. So each floor had a two hour window, which you could come. Um, I believe my time was like 10 to noon. Um, I believe, I think it was the Friday of welcome weekend. Um, Move-in's looking a little bit different this year. We're more staggered. Um, so we'll see how the freshman move-in is, but like my building um, only has about eight students in it. So I have a full day to move in. So anything else, Jess? Um, you guys talk about the and making friends. Does someone else want to touch on that instead of me, or do you want me to talk about it again? What was the question? I missed it. Social life. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, we have, I believe, over 100 clubs on campus now. We're right around there. Um, so, there is literally something to do for everybody. Um, and if for some reason there is not a club that you feel we should have, um, as long as you get a couple people, a couple friends to back you up and be on the same page as you, you can actually go through the process of like petitioning and um, getting yourself recognized as an official club on campus. Um, so you have the option to kind of create your own if we don't have it for you. But with our extensive list of different clubs, I'm gonna guess that we probably have something for you. Um, and as far as getting involved in them, I feel like everybody I know is involved in at least one club. And the cool thing about the clubs too is that um, they like say I'm, I'm a communications and psychology major, but if I was interested, I can just go be like, Hey, I want to be in the engineering club and like learn about it and things like that. Um, so you don't have to be in a particular major to be in a club that has to do with that. It's a really good way to like explore different interests and just learn a little bit about different things on campus and find new people too. So um, and I would say that people get involved a lot, a lot, a lot on campus. So nothing to worry about there. So personally for me, um, I love sports beyond belief. I love sports. I love them. But I didn't want to commit to anything like as far as like um, sports, like sports teams directly off of campus just because I thought like I wanted to plant my feet as far as academics goes in the nursing program first before anything. Um, so what I did do is join intramurals, which is completely up to you. So flexible. Like I even got a job there so I could like, um, if that's one of the jobs you want to consider, you can sit there and keep score and get paid for it. Like it's so much fun. You just get a group of kids and it's either volleyball or soccer or basketball. And it was so much fun. I made so much friends doing it and you could just have fun while doing it. It's like competitive and everyone gets like crazy and it's fun, but um, it's also a good way to stay active. And if you didn't want to make that commitment to an actual like team directly from it, then um, you could definitely do intramurals. And I, I honestly, my first roommate that I had actually transferred after the first semester and I met my best friend um, 
in the nursing program and we just started studying today together and she moved in with me so um never be scared of making friends just make sure you put yourself out there find people who have the same interests as you and you'll be absolutely fine and everyone on wilkes is so friendly so you'll never have a problem and if you do come join the ambassadors and we would love to be your friends because this is also a reason why like most of them are such good friends to us so we're awesome over here if you ever want to stop in and say hey so that's my spiel thanks leslie you're um outside of cheese hall could you show us the dart um i'm outside so i can actually go over there if you would like Sorry, I was inside of admissions, so this is our admissions building. But right across from our admissions and in the corner, we have the Dorothy Dixon Dart Center, which is home to all of our performing arts here at Wilkes University. So they have our musical theater there. We have a lot of different shows all throughout the spring and the fall semester. And then we also have different classrooms there, as well as different dance studios available for students. And then right across from our Chase Hall, we have um, Kirby Hall, which is home to the English department here at Wilkes. It along, but um, we do require all students, like it is a liberal arts, arts college, so we do require all students to take two English classes during their college career here at Wilkes. All right, so I just wanted to pop in and say one more thing. Um, somebody had a question about clubs again. Um, so we do have a club day, a club fair every semester. Um, and they'll have every single club lined up in our um, athletic center. So you can go there and see all the different things that we have to offer. Uh, but I will say there are a lot, a lot of different um, like cultural clubs and things like that to celebrate all different kinds of cultures. Um, and it's really cool because we do have this one room in our student center that is kind of like dedicated to celebrating different cultures and religions and things like that. Um, so they'll have like different meetups in there to try different types of food or do um, maybe different traditions or celebrate certain holidays um, and things like that. So it is really cool. We do have like tons and tons of clubs for um, all different kinds of like backgrounds and cultures and things like that. So. Yeah, and no, actually, um, we have an Office of Diversity here at Wilkes. So every Tuesday, we have something that is called Coffee Hour. So it's just, um, they hold it there in our student union building, and they have a, even, either different chats and a lot of different international students, just so that they could practice their English, and you could be more involved in something international-wise and get a different perspective of things. So there's always something new going on, especially with that office. They do a, a lot of different conferences throughout the year. And actually, they did a virtual conference conference recently due to everything that's going on just with our community to have a more in-depth talk about everything that's happening. Um, and I wanted to mention MSC. Can you turn your speaker down a little bit? Um, so MSC is one of our multi multicultural clubs. Um, it's actually run by the present Brie Roland, who's one of our ambassadors in the admissions office. Um, she's always welcome to talk to students. If you have any questions about what they do, um, who can join, anyone can join, but they do a lot of fun things. One thing they did have planned for the spring semester was um, an African-American fashion show. So like they had different um, cultural outfits and different things that they planned to show. Um, we had to unfortunately cancel that, but Brie is always welcome to talk to people if you do have any questions. She's very passionate about the club and about showing things on campus. Um, she helped us set up our town hall meeting that we had a few weeks ago to address everything that's happening in the world today. Um, again, she's very passionate about showing things on campus and being spirited and showing your culture and everything. Um, so she's always welcome to talk to students. Again, she's one of us that works in the admissions office, so she's happy to talk to you as a student. Awesome. Well, it is four o'clock and we've gone through our, all of our questions and we're so excited that all of you were able to join us. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed our live tour with our amazing admission ambassadors who I really showed you the beautiful campus that we have here. If you do have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us at admissions at admissions at wilkes.edu or to contact your individual admissions counselor. So thank you so much again for joining us and I hope to see you on campus soon.